and how we're gonna test these lights is see which one is brighter. I already know which one is brighter, but let's see if you can try to figure it out. The obsessive DP. Ooh, double edge light. What's up guys, welcome back to The Obsessive DP. The goal of this video is to see if lighting technology has really changed in five years. We bought this light back in like 2017, 2016. Bought this light right now in 2021, because it's 2021 right now. And I think there's a pretty massive difference in how far LED technology has come. These are both LED. This one's bicolor, so we can go from 6500 to 3200. Oh. Yellow, blue. This is RGBWW, which means it can do way more, way more than this one can. This has gels, this has effects, this has a lot of functions. This is bicolor. So already we're seeing a difference. The craziest thing about LED technology right now and what Aperture has done, this is an Aperture Nova P300C. This is the Philix Matrix. They even have a newer version of this one that came out a couple years ago. This is brand new, so it's probably not gonna get an upgrade for a while, but I'm assuming they're gonna make bigger panels, just like Aerie has done with sky panels. What Aperture has done in the LED realm is, I'm honestly not a big fan of Aperture. I've seen them come a long way, and I'm starting to creep towards them, but I still think HMI technology is way better. I would never do LED over HMI if I had the choice, but this thing's dang useful. This thing's like 1600 bucks. It's absolutely insane. This was $2,500 when we bought it. And I think it's okay. It's like, it's got decent build quality. It's got some hard plastic. It's got some metal. We haven't really had any issues with it, to be honest. It's waterproof up to a certain range. The most annoying thing probably is this. The, these can get stuck. This is way better technology having just this one guy, this one locking guy right here. It's, it's way better. It's one side, it just makes sense. Sometimes when you twist this, you can actually lock the sides just by twisting the light, like it's getting harder right now. This, oh gosh, oh no. Okay, yeah, so you have to twist the light to untwist it. It's annoying. Just looking at them right now, just my bare eyeballs, this one's green. This one looks a lot more pure, just like my key light, my DP Lumi 1x3. Anyway, it's been a few years, so this isn't gonna be like the most accurate test in the world, because this has been in the field for four years, whereas, you know, as you use LEDs, they start to color shift. But I'm excited about this just to see how far we've come in production LED lighting. The camera literally just broke when I said production LED technology. Oh, what, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my handy dandy light meter. This is our test. And how we're gonna test these lights is see which one is brighter. I already know which one is brighter, but let's see if you can try to figure it out. Ooh. All right, so how I set this up is I have both lights now still in frame. Uh, I didn't want them on me because we would be competing with key light and all that other stuff. So they're gonna be back there. First, I'm gonna text the Felix. This is full up, 5600 Kelvin. Uh, a little bit of a magenta shift, just try to match them. And let's see what we got. So I got my mark. We have 1800 lux. 1800 lux, that's what it's reading. My key, 740. So my key has some diffusion and it's not full up. So that Felix matrix full up is 1800 lux from about six feet away. Next light. All right, Aperture Nova is on now. I'm back to my spot. I'm gonna test it. It's at 1500 lux. Little trick though. It's at 1400 lux. 16, between 14 and 1600 lux. But this light right here is half intensity right now. I'm gonna go full intensity and we'll really see what's happening. Full intensity, definitely is bright. 5600 Kelvin, yeah, it's about 4000 lux. So a pretty freaking massive difference between these two lights. This one's cheaper. This aperture is cheaper than that one. They still have the Matrix right now. I think it's the, I think it's the Matrix 2. It's probably brighter, I'm not trying to knock it but I know that they're still selling it for over $2,000 and it's only bicolor. But look at it again. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the matrix. I'm gonna show you something. So this light, this aperture, I'm assuming it's like a sky panel and it has a full array of LEDs spread apart evenly throughout the entire uh, unit. 
and then it has this diffusion on top of that just to kind of make it look like a clean source, right? But look at the matrix. So I put it at four intensity so you can see, I don't think this light's gonna show it. Anyway, I'm looking at it right now. It has four hot spots. It's not a clean. This is the difference between the aperture and the Philix, is that the Philix has these four really bright diodes in a matrix formation, that's where the name comes from. The aperture is just a clean, flat slate. Now, if you're using it with diffusion, you're putting it in a softbox, that doesn't matter. It's totally fine to have four hot spots. it's not gonna bother you. But when you're going open face like this, we've actually seen this in a reflection on one of our shoots. We've seen the four hot spots in a reflection in a window because we just did open face. So that's kind of a big downside compared to this aperture light. I can't believe what they did here with this price point compared to everything else on the market. They're just taking over. I was not, I was once not a full believer in aperture. I'm still not hundred percent on board, but they are changing my mind. <laughs> this is, this is an amazing test. The aperture has way more features. It's way brighter. It's over twice as bright and it's cheaper. I, Stay obsessed, it doesn't make sense.